What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today, and today I'm going to be rating your guys' teams again. I got a lot of lineups after the last video, so if you guys want to be in another featured in another one of these videos, be sure to send me your lineup, I'll give you guys a rating out of 10 on your squad, I'll give you some improvements on how to make your team better, different players to buy, different lineup changes that you can make to your squad, basically like that. I'll also, yeah, I'll just tell you guys what I think of your squad. Honestly, my, my, my opinion might not be the best, but I'm just going to tell you, like, based on my knowledge of the game, what I think you could do. Um, how, also, try to tell me how much MTU you got, maybe even the play style you play, like what offensive settings you run or defensive settings, what plays you run, stuff like that. Kind of what kind of player you are and how much MTU you got. kind of helps me when I'm rating your team. But honestly, it's fine. I can just kind of give you, like, a baseline of, like, what your team is looking like, how you can improve it just to make it better in terms of competition level on Unlimited, going 12-0 and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, well, let's just get started, guys. I don't want to talk too much um, for this intro. Be sure to hit that like button, guys. Let's see if we can get 20 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Road to 500. But yeah, let's just get into these lineups real quick, guys. So yeah, I'm going to just be sniping in the background while we do this. Hopefully, I can get some nice snipes. We'll see, though. We'll see. Flashbacks just to drop today. So yeah, here we go. So we got our first lineup right here. So it looks like you got that dynamic duo between Dwayne Wade and Shaq. I really like that. Then you got Cole Anthony, Devin Booker, Tom Heinz. don't know how to pronounce that. All right. So well, the first thing when I see when I see this lineup is I would say point guard, center, looking nice in the starting lineup. Try to improve some height in your in your starting lineup. So maybe put even T-Mac at the two. It is nice to have a full Opal starting lineup. But at the same time, you want to make sure you have the better players. Maybe even put D-Rob at that four spot instead of Tom. And then someone buy someone like a George Gervin or an Iguodala for that three spot. Cheap Opal. And you could even sell like that D-Rose, that LaMarcus Aldridge. Or even that John Wall and Jaw, you could slide down Cole Anthony and Devin Booker to your bench right there. Um, Dame, honestly, I don't even know if he's needed. But yeah, those are just my first thoughts on it. Looks like you don't have too much MT, so you might have to sell a couple more things and make a little bit more MT to make these changes. But yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on this. I would honestly give this lineup like a 7 out of 10. Just because the bench is not looking as well, but the, the starters are, are pretty good. Like you got not, um, some nice opals in here with that D-Wade and that Shaquille O'Neal. So yeah, 7 out of 10 is what I would say for this lineup. Going on to the next one, guys, we got Bill Wall and Vince Carter. All right, so we got a lot of pink diamonds here, but they're solid pink diamonds. Bill Wall and Vince Carter, Paul George, David Robinson, and AK. He's not a pink diamond, but yeah, that's like a nice starting lineup, even though you don't have, you only have one opal. Paul George is basically an opal. Bill Wall's goaded because he's got that hop step. He's got that tween. He's got that, he's a point guard, obviously. Then you got David Robinson here. He's got a nice shooting form, Vince Carter. So yeah, I'm liking the starting lineup. Honestly, I wouldn't say any, make any changes to that right now. Um, I can't really see how much MT you got, but yeah, based on this, it's looking fine. But now for the bench, um, I like Onyeka, I like Manute Bull, but I would say maybe improve the first three. Imp improve your backup point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. Buy someone like a Wes Unseld if you got the MT. Buy someone like a, even like a Diamond Nick Batum would work for you. Or like a, um, what else is there? Like a, Or you can go with that Iggy or George Griffin Opal. I don't know how much MT you got, but like those would be some nice replacements. Derek Fisher, Robert Horry, they're, they're a nice duo. But at the end of the day, short guards just don't really work in 2K this year. Derek Fisher probably won't be the best for Unlimited. So yeah, try getting like a little taller of a point guard. Wes Unsel, maybe even Amy, Amy Isaac Bonga if you don't have enough MT. So that would be another nice option. But yeah, I would give the squad, honestly, like a 7.5 out of 10. It's looking pretty solid, but some adjustments can still be made. All right, guys. So we got another squad right here. So okay, so this is looking pretty nice. I like Hidu at the point guard, AK, Onyeka. Basically, Gordon Hayward is honestly pretty underrated too. So like this starting lineup is solid. This starting lineup is solid. It can compete. Um, now for the bench, bench here, honestly, I would, my favorite players on this bench are honestly that Michael Red and that Joe Caldwell. I like them at the, um, at the two and three. I would honestly just say, get a better point guard. Um, Derek Fisher, Louis Dampier, not the best, especially when you're trying to play online. Maybe even get a, Brian Scalabrini's not bad. Maybe you try getting a better center. Maybe get someone like a Manu Bowl instead of Greg o Odin, or maybe get someone like, um, let me think, like an Eddie Curry or something like that. And then for your point guard, yeah, I would say get like Isaac Bonga. He would not be bad, depending on how much MT you got. Wes Unseld would be nice too. Um, Lamar Odom just came out today. He's going to be crazy amount of MT though. So yeah, he's not a good, he's, I'm not saying to get him. But yeah, those are some um, nice adjustments that I would tell you guys, tell you to make. This team is looking solid. I would give this like an 8 out of 10. We're incrementally going up, guys, it looks like. But yeah, this is an 8 out of 10. There's some improvements that can be made, but it is pretty solid. All right, guys, so now we got this. Okay, so this squad right here. This squad right here is a 10 out of 10, guys. Like, I could I could be picky and say, like, 9.7 out of 10 or something like that. But you got Evo Magic, Anthony Edwards, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, Kareem. Like, even though there are better starting lineups than that, like, this starting lineup can, can compete with any other starting lineup in the game. 
the only kind of lineup that I could think would give this trouble is if you got like someone like a T-Mac at the two and like a Wiseman at the four. That would kind of give Bill Russell and Anthony Edwards problems. But other than that, like it's looking solid. On the bench, you got Evo Ben Simmons, Glenn Rice, Kawhi. That Kawhi card is literally underrated, even though it's a pink diamond. No one uses him. I feel like more people should be using him. Then you got um, Giannis. I'm assuming you love that Giannis hop step and all that and his behind the back and everything. And then Hakeem. Kobe, Kevin McHale, Jimmy Butler. So this lineup, I'm honestly just going to give it a 10 out of 10. 9.5, 9.7 if I really want to be picky. But the only thing I can really say is maybe try getting a better Giannis card. I know it doesn't look like you have a lot of MT, but um, that's the only thing really. Jimmy Butler, like you got all solid cards. It looks like you really found what players you like. So honestly, I, I can't really tell you to make many more adjustments other than maybe improving, maybe getting that Opal Kawhi, maybe getting that Opal Giannis. Something like that. I think I've already told you that. I think I've looked at this lineup before. But yeah, just a general thing, general note, guys. Um, this is what I think of this lineup. All right, so we got another lineup right here, guys. So okay, so I haven't seen this LeBron in a while. This glitched LeBron. We got Paul George, Danny Granger, Kevin McHale, Eddie Curry. All right, actually, I really like this lineup. See, like this is a perfect example of using cards to the to the maximum ability. Like Isaac Bong, 92 overall, still a solid backup point guard. Like. The only kind of player that I would say maybe you could upgrade is that Danny Granger spot, that LeBron spot, maybe that Joe Caldwell spot, and yeah, that's literally it. Maybe get someone like Wes Unseld instead of LeBron, unless you really like LeBron and his animations and stuff. I know a lot of people don't really like LeBron's layup package, um, especially on these kind of cards, like this glitch card, his other point guard card. Danny Granger, I feel like he's a hit or miss. If you, if you really like him, you do you. Keep him at your three. Keep him at your small forward. If not, maybe you can get... Um, like a Pascal Siakam for that spot. Danny Manning, I really like on the bench. Cam Reddish, I really like. Yeah, Joe Caldwell, you could honestly... I feel like you probably are really good with that base 98. There's a reason you're using him. So yeah, that's totally fine too. I would give this squad a 9 out of 10. Just because it's like a budget squad, you can, get, you can get better players. But it's still like a solid squad that you can really go 12-0 with online. Alright guys, well, um, we got one more squad right here. Um, this is my boy Spyro. So yeah, we got Dennis Johnson. All okay, right, so this squad is looking nice, guys. It's like, I know I've looked at this squad before. There's a lot of improvements that can be made. So as it looks like you got a lot of those free opals, which is nice, taking advantage of your free cards. But at the end of the day, you still do have that Wilt, Jay Williams. Vince Carter's nice. I wouldn't even slide Vince Carter to a starter. You got Chris Bosh too. My recommendation would be sell Wilt, sell Jay Williams, sell Chris Bosh, save up that MT. Do some of those all-time spotlight sims or do some of those final spotlight sims. Maybe get yourself a free bird or a free curry. Um, I see like you're working on the Larry Bird one, so maybe try to finish that one out. See if you can get that one all the way done. Um, get some of those free opals because you really want to start getting those on your team. A lot of these players were not as good, I would say. Maybe even start getting some of those budget cards, like even like an Amy D. Wade, Isaac Bonga, Nick Batum, um, Eddie Curry, something like that. You could sell Wilt and stuff and get an Eddie Curry. Um, that might be the move. Honestly, that Vince, I can't remember how much he's going for too, but you might want to sell him too. Just try to maximize the amount of money you get. Then get some more nice budget players. I have a lot of budget videos on different budget players that you can get. But yeah, I would give this squad honestly like a 6.5 out of 10. Alright guys, last squad right here. Hopefully this video didn't become too long. But yeah, we got Westbrook, Steve. So I like that Steve Smith card. That Detlef card is pretty good too. So Robert Horry. Okay, so what I would say first for this card is you, it looks like you got a lot of free cards on your team. First, try to improve that Robert Horry spot. Maybe just get someone like even like a Eddie Curry to take out that spot. Um, it doesn't look like you have a lot of MT. I can barely see it on this. Eddie Curry might be a little bit too expensive. Then you can go for that like Zouchi or something like that. Um, looks like you spent a lot of MT on Westbrook. Sell that Chris Bosh too. Maybe you just sell that Chris Bosh and Westbrook and then get just get like Bonga and Eddie Curry instead. Bonga, Eddie Curry, and like Mo Bamba or something like that. That would be nice. Those are some nice cards. And then as for your bench, I would say it's looking solid for now. You might just need to, you might just want to use like a five man um, mainly when you play online, but bench bench wise I would say the Lamar Mar Odom's looking nice. Kobe Kobe's a little bit, not as good of a card. Lonzo Justin Wright Foreman a lot of these players club cards. Even Bingo Smith is like probably your best point guard on your bench. But basically just try to get some more some more of those budget players. Maybe you just run with the five man online. That's kind of my recommendation. I would give this squad like a, also like a six out of ten. Just because it doesn't have a lot of like the good players that can really compete online if you're trying to play online but it does have some solid players that are starting out looks like you're working on those curry challenges so might as well try finishing those up and getting those done um but yeah that's basically gonna do it for this video guys hopefully you guys um enjoyed the lineup let me know if i rated your lineup in the comments below guys if i did not 
send it over again guys i have a lot of lineups i'm it's hard to keep track honestly so just send it over again if i did not rate your lineup these are the ones i found that i didn't rate last time and i found people sent recently so i rated these guys but hope you guys really enjoyed this video um that's really gonna do it for this video i have nothing else really to say but yeah hit that like button guys subscribe if you're new we're on that road to 500 so yeah that's gonna do it peace